So Albert, the way this works is it's a single button. You push and it turns on, you push and it turns off. How about that? Hi, welcome to hack number 21. This is the push on, push off switch that uses three transistors, two NPNs, one PNP. I found this circuit on a uh, tutorial website I found. It's got over a hundred projects with transistors and then some other ones with ICs. It's right down there in the video description and I encourage you to check it out. There's all kinds of things to learn about transistors there. Um, I'm still learning on this one. Uh, I've actually got a few questions I'll post in this video and if anyone wants to offer up some explanations on the Hack a Week website, please do so. Every time I do a project, I learn something too. I don't know it all by any means and I'm self-taught. So I learn by building stuff and making mistakes and then asking questions from people who actually do know a little more than I do. How about that? Well, let me explain this circuit on the whiteboard and when we're done, hopefully you'll have a little better understanding of how transistors work. Right, Albert? Right. Well, here's the circuit on the breadboard. It has just a single push button right here, three transistors, and I have an LED connected to uh, show the thing operating, basically. You push on and push off. It's about that simple. There are a few things that were a little strange uh, with this circuit. I noticed that unless I placed a uh, 0.1 microfarad cap um, between the output and the positive, it tended to turn on by itself and be kind of uh, weird. It would just act strange. Sometimes it would work, sometimes not. And I found that putting this capacitor in there helped to stabilize its operation. So, see right now it's, it's doing weird stuff. So if anyone can explain uh, to me why that's happening, that would be a great help. Right then, here's the schematic and a quick explanation, and there is more on the uh, tutorial website I told you about down below in the video description. Check that out. All right, when the circuit's first turned on, the capacitor here, C1, charges via these two 470K resistors. When the switch is pressed, the voltage on C1 is passed to Q3 to turn it on. This turns on Q1 here, and the voltage developed across R7 will keep Q1 turned on when the button is released. Q2 is also turned on during this time and it discharges the capacitor. When the switch is pressed again, the capacitor is in a discharged state and this zero voltage will be passed to Q3 to turn it off. This turns off Q1 and 2 and the capacitor begins to charge again to repeat the cycle. So that's what makes it do the push it once, it's on, push it again, it's off. Well, that about does it for this week's hack, the push on, push off switch using three transistors. I encourage you to try building one. They're uh, a lot of fun to mess around with. Transistors are really cool. If you try to substitute transistors, try to read the data sheets and make sure you're getting something close and compatible with what's spec'd out because they do vary a little bit. The bias voltages can vary and uh, I just discovered in this circuit that my transistors I chose from my parts bin didn't quite work right. I had to fudge things a little to get the uh, light to come on and off for that uh, little piece you saw at the beginning of the video. So be careful with the substitutions. I'm being attacked by Seamus now and uh, hey buddy, come on up. What's up? He's uh, demanding attention. He hasn't been in any videos for a while, so I think he's he's feeling a little left out. Come on, Seamus, jump up on there on the bench. What do you say, bud? <laughs> All right, well, till next time, keep on hacking. Seamus, you're such a ham.